Hey guys and welcome. In the following video we're going to take a look at the typography settings with your Rosemary 2 theme. Now to get there you'll go to a flow theme style and then typography. Typography basically allows you to set up the uh, different fonts for your theme and it's going to be the font styles and then these font styles are then applied to the different blocks throughout the site. Now to go ahead and update any font uh, you'll see that it has a label, so they're pretty descriptive. Call to action would be for buttons. Heading 1 through heading 6 will just be for the different headings on the site. Logo fonts, some small meta descriptions, so these could be small description areas. Uh, paragraph fonts, and uh, some quote fonts. You'll also have a couple of special headings with this theme. So that's it for the different uh, actual font styles. Editing any of these font styles is really simple. You can simply hit the pencil icon, choose from any of the fonts that are already available to you, and then with that, uh, so for example, I want to use Isabel Thin, you can choose the size, and you can see the preview over here in the, on the right hand side. You can also see the mobile preview, so choose the mobile size. You can choose letter spacing, you can choose word spacing, and you can choose line height. So all pretty simple uh, options. You can rename these as well if you want, but uh, for now they are pretty self-explanatory and quite useful. You also have the options here to uh, put the fonts in all capitals, uh, normal case and all lower case. So a standard, it should be a regular case and that would be the recommended option uh, that you use. Uh, obviously uh, that would be, you know, how you type it is how it will display. Once you're happy with it, you just hit X and that will be that actual font style saved. Now this will apply to any font that has, or any area that uses the call to action style throughout the theme. If you want to add a new style, you can easily do that by going down and hitting add font style, hit the pencil, choose the actual font, set up the sizing, choose the letter spacing, word spacing, and line height. Uh, that would be it. You can just add the label here, so a new font style. It can be whatever you want to label it. Hit the X, and that will be the font style added. Again, you will now be able to apply this anywhere uh, into some of the different blocks, and that will uh, give you the option to have a different style. So this is useful if you want to have uh, one specific font style for uh, maybe certain areas on the site, but it's not going to be used site-wide, uh, because these options here generally are already pre-assigned to different blocks. What if you want to add your own fonts? Also really simple, you can add both Google fonts or custom fonts and to do that is really really easy so you can go ahead and go over to Google fonts for example uh, you can then hit add a Google font simply click the choose font option and then you can search for any of the fonts uh, that are from Google. If you don't know what they are, you can go to uh, fonts.google.com and you'll see all the different font options available to you. Uh, then you can just type it in here and select it. So uh, I'm just going to set up Able, for example, as default. Um, and then I'm going to leave that as it is. Then I go to Font Styles and I can now use that in any of the font style areas. So we've set up Able like so and it can be used. The exact same principle applies if you want to set up a a custom font, just go ahead and hit add a font and then you can upload a .wav file, a .ttf or .otf and again once it's added you will simply come in here, choose the font again uh, for whatever area you want to apply it to and you're good to go. You can then hit update and that will save the actual typography settings. Now if you want to update the fonts on a per block basis so you've already set up all your styles you can go into the different pages and maybe in a different uh, a block you want to use a different style uh, for that, just that specific block itself. Uh, we can easily do that. So I'm going to go into a page here. Let's go to this one, for example. And then we're going to go to an actual block. Once it loads. And then I'm going to choose and show you how to choose a style on a per block basis. So. Pretty simple to do so. Most blocks will have the option for you to just select um, a font style. So uh, you can, let's see, go down to the layout section, go to any block, for example, this uh, header block, WB title, 
uh, it doesn't actually have some styling options so let's go and add a block here let's add a an FAQ block for example then inside this block we'll just hit the pencil icon and then we will scroll down and you'll see that the title font has an option here and it's already assigned as heading one but you could easily change that heading uh, by just select, dropping down this menu and selecting any of the styles that have been set up. If you set up a, a custom style yourself, it will also show here at the bottom. You can do that for anywhere that has a font selector option. And if you wanted to actually modify that style completely, you could hit the pencil. It will take you to the typography area, update it, hit the X, update the settings area. And of course, that will update the fonts. So that's it for typography, folks. It's pretty easy to use and it will allow you to apply your own branding and fonts to your site.